So let's move on to Khaled. He has a new album coming up, Grateful. <clears throat> he dropped the cover art for his new single, I'm the One. It's coming this week. Lil Wayne, Bieber, Quavo, Chance the Rapper. Do we feel like Khaled has another big, big album on the way? Are you excited for this single, first of all? I'm excited for everything Cal is doing right now. Of okay. course you are. His eyes just lit up. I no, like no, no, no. I really am. Yeah, word. No, no. Yo, here's the thing. You got a little twinkle. Real no, no, no. <laughs> I'm excited for everything. Relax. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Salute. You know what I mean? I'm, try I'm trying to get in on, on being like Assad's godfather or something like that. But mm. on a serious note, there was a period for me when Khaled were putting out these like compilation tracks where he just picks like five hot guys and put them on a track and like an R&B singer on the hook. Mm -hmm. And... They were whack to me, like for, I can't remember the, the, the exact period, but it was definitely after when he first came out, he, he, he did all the like, we taking over and all that type of stuff. But he had a period where I, I wasn't interested. Okay. Recently, all his tracks he's put out, I'm really interested in. Okay, uh, the track with Drake I thought was dope. Um, the tracks with, with Jay-Z, um, those were dope. So I'm like, everything he's doing now, I really like. And um, seeing the lineup, it has, I, I'm trying to figure out Bieber, Quavo, Chance, and Wayne fits on this record. Oh, yeah. And what what he actually does really well, and I'm talking about Khaled, is that he puts people in the best place for them that sometimes, if you listen to their music individually, they might not know um, would be better for them. That's why I think he's a great executive producer, okay? He's also mentioned that he might be working with Nas, and Nas will also be featured on this project, yeah. which I think that's always a great parent as well. So I'm very excited I for that. I think what's always a great parent? Khaled Nas. Nas. And Khaled. No, no, I mean, Khaled Nas. No, 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 no. I like Khaled really executive producing or at least instructing people like Nas. So you him. like Khaled? Yeah. Because that's really all that Khaled is going to do on the album. He's going to executive produce, he's going to put it together. Ladies. He's going to scream his name. <laughs> he's going to tell you he's one. the best. Yeah. Khaled. Um, this goes back to our interesting conversation that we had off air. Khaled and 50 Cent, right? And I'm about to get extra deep here for no reason. <laughs> Let me buckle in. Right, let's just <laughs> slide down. While Khaled was unifying everyone back when We Taken Over was out, 50 Cent was making sure New York was not unified. <laughs> he was making sure all of the top artists in New York while he was at the top did not work with each other. There was beef in G Unit, there was beef with, he got rid of Ja Rule, who at the time was at the top in New York. Jadakiss, at the time, best lyricist in New York. Uh, Hove, he beefed with everybody in New York, right? While this was happening to the side somewhere, Khaled was forming all, <laughs> everybody not in New York. Khaled was rounding the troops, Drake, Nicki, all of these niggas. And now Khaled probably, and I don't know who all is signed to Epic, but Khaled puts out an album every six months. The singles perform really well. The albums perform really well, especially the last one. Khaled is probably one of the only people keeping the lights on in the building. Khaled is one of the people, and I keep seeing all these pictures of L.A. Reid and all of these, uh, Nick, L.A. Reid and Khaled. I keep seeing pictures of them where L.A. Reid is, is up like this with his pointy shoes and he's smiling. You knew I was going to dig into L.A. Reid. Uh, <laughs> but he don't catch I would be smiling. <laughs> Fuck, man. I would be smiling, too, if I was... L.A. Reid and Khaled was sitting next to me. Khaled is such a machine. He is such a machine now for everyone. He's on every commercial. Uh, he's all over the internet. He's every, so many brands have bought into him. It's amazing what he's done. I'm looking forward to, to, to Friday, because much like you, I think that Khaled has a very unique way of putting artists together. I can't really hear these artists on a song. I'm excited the only it. reason I can hear it is because of Khaled. Uh, fucking uh, Shine It. Uh, I'm not normally a fan of Jay Beyonce collaborations. I love that not song. Not normally. That song I love. Uh, the Jay verse I love. Did Party Next Door write that? Because uh, that's what I hear. If he yeah. did, that's another, that's a, a collaborative effort that I don't think we hear without Khaled. So I like Khaled's ear. I'm looking forward to hearing the song. Who's on the song? Quavo? Quavo, Quavo Chance. Not Offset? <laughs> nah, man. But Quavo. Offset just dropped some solo shit yesterday, yes. right? Slim, slim they don't want to talk about it up here. Complex. Complex. They just got Complex. Complex, complex just got Quavo uh, being That's a complex. solo Beyonce. <laughs> Why you offset that? said fuck all that in the desk and chops. But hey. now, off on a tangent. Back to what Hold we were on. Why are you always going to be on the hey, show when you which, say Complex? Right, speaking of which, and we just gave... Old Complex. Yeah, complex. We, 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 new Complex. Yo, new Complex. Yo, we just gave 
Khaled a lot of like props. But, and you, maybe you could answer this question better for me. I, I feel like now his, his star power and also like his... his business acumen. His business acumen, but also his music abilities, right? Or whatever that is, right? Um, is connected where he's firing on all cylinders. But the people who are signed to his label, we the best, what happened to them niggas? What happened to niggas like Ace Hood? What happened to Movado, who's a Jamaican artist? What happened to Vado? What happened to those guys? I, 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 it, it, it struck me as weird. Oh, yo. Okay, it's coming. Time out. I'm fucking with Act. Yeah, no. <laughs> what? Hold up. <laughs> Get are, these are, you are you agreeing? Are you agreeing? Yes. Oh. First time, take this. Yo, He's me. Yes. No, no, no. Sink this is the first moment. Uh, let me nah, have you raised valid points. He's doing good now, but those are the artists we saw Ace Hood. Like, we saw. Uh, Khaled had an interview with The Breakfast Club. Ace Hood, he didn't say too much, but. Yes, he, he did. No, he clearly <laughs> wasn't in agreement. He dropped some bars also at Khaled. So he's not really all the way in pocket with Khaled. Movado, I don't know where he's at supposedly. He was a rising Jamaican artist, was supposed to take off with Khaled. I don't know what's going on with that. Vado, didn't v Vado left, uh, like, the Dipset situation was supposed to get, like, new life there? Vado left the Cam situation, mm -hmm. got with Khaled. When Khaled was at Def Jam, they immediately put out a record called Baby, I think. Sorry, Vado, if I'm fucking that name up, but I like that song. Maul did, too. It went nowhere fast. We never heard another record from Vado featuring Khaled. With Khaled backing him, we never heard any of it, right? Movado. Mm-hmm. Is he signed to We The Best? Yes. All I know is that when Khaled is bored at home, he likes to listen to Movado. That's, and, all, and that's he, all I know about Movado. And Movado's giving him the, the, the Jamaican lingo. Ace Hood is the one that concerns me the most. Ace Hood, I love you and your girlfriend. Uh, that is the one that concerns me the most. Well, do, well, now that he's in this position, you think he's going to pick these niggas up and then elevate them? Because that's his No, thing. no, so I don't. So let's get back to Ace Hood, because I think that Ace Hood doesn't get the respect he deserves. Ace Hood came out way last decade. We all fucking clowned him, hated him. He disappeared for whatever the reason. Uh, I know why contract, he Well, I don't know, but I'm saying... Ever since public, his watch broke apart on the BT Awards. Public like, perception... <laughs> In 07, 08, Ace Hood was trying to get it done from Florida. Enter Khaled. Now hits come. Hits are the, uh, uh, what were the hits? What were the hits? What were the hits? What were the hits? Uh, Ace Hood. Ace Hood. Bugatti? Oh, my God. My point is he had success with Khaled. Khaled seemed invested. He seemed devoted. We couldn't, they couldn't be apart, separated. Mm -hmm. So for that interview to happen where Khaled said what he said and Ace Hood said, I'm hurt. Like, so he said a lot. Sometimes when you say very little, you say a lot. He said, I'm hurt. Uh, I, it, it saddens me that you are up there spreading these lines and shit. So now, so now I go to, okay, Khaled, you, Khaled, Ross tells us Birdman jerked you. Right? I'm, that, that bothers me if that's true. I don't know it to be true. But I don't think Ross is lying about it in the song. And we Me never either. saw anything from Khaled and Birdman again. So mm -hmm. if I put two and two together, it has to be true. So if, if, if Birdman robbed Khaled, I would think more than ever Khaled would want to reach out to Ace Hood and get it done correctly. I would think more than ever Khaled would grab Vado up, who you grabbed up maybe when New York wasn't so dead and you thought you could do something, but why are you popping and you got all of the popping niggas with you? Why not slide a Vado verse in there? Why not slide an Ace Hood verse why in there? Why is he not on this? Why, why not take on care it? of your people? I have my own theory that I have said on this show plenty of times. All these niggas Wait. get in the industry and they make fucking friends and they give their job to their fucking friends. That's it. I want somebody to tell me why Khaled is more successful than he has ever been. And Ace Hood is doing yoga with his girlfriend. Agreed. What I Where's will, Vado? What I will say. When I is mean, the last time you saw Vado? Complex I, I ain't going to ask where Vado is. I see Vado all the time in New Jersey. I want to know when's the last time Khaled said, where's Vado? Maybe it don't matter. Again, I love Khaled and there's a lot of information I don't have, but from the outside looking in, it's not a good optic. 
Hey, listen, this is what I think Khaled did. I used to think he was more like Rick Ross. Rick Ross, I believe, sacrificed his own career and, and, and personal um, musical uh, promotion for his artists. He puts them before him. That's and true. That's true. That's true. For a long while, I thought that Khaled was the same until Khaled became the star through Snapchat, other things. Now everything's connecting. Then all them other niggas that he was propping up before and using them, like, okay, you get on this record. We ain't see these niggas yet. I don't even know if these niggas on the security detail. So, again, that's the big difference that I'm seeing now with Khaled and uh, uh, Ross. But I don't know if I could blame him. If right? you could blame who? Khaled. I don't know if I could blame him. I don't know if, maybe. I don't maybe know if I could maybe blame him. Ace stop producing. Maybe Vado stop producing. Maybe Movado stop producing. And, and also, I think now he's... He's in the, the area of where he could get a J. He gets all these. Look at this fucking line of Bieber. He has Wayne. He has Chance. He could get these guys. Now when, when, when Votto sends in a verse for the song, straight to the recycle bin. I'm not putting that on the song. Again, I don't think he has an inse- much incentive, given the fact that he's the big star, to continue promoting them. In the great words, which is sad for in them. In the great words of at Royce to 5'9". I'm like royalty around y'all. I'm down to fall with niggas I feel are as loyal as me, which is probably why loyalty is my downfall. That's applicable to very many people. Some people are just loyal to a fault. Khaled appears to be loyal. I don't know who to, <laughs> to which fault, though. Okay. I don't know to Do you which think fault. artists should just not sign with other artists in general? I think artists shouldn't sign anywhere. <laughs> so you can't ask me that. Because I'm it, old. Well, it, well, no, it depends. If you sign to a Ross, great. Mm-hmm. You you sign, and I won't use Khaled because I think it's a new phenomenon we're seeing, but if you sign to other people, I would say no. It's just hard to predict how a person's going to turn out once yeah, they get yeah, success. Because think Super about it. Success. And you're an artist, right? If you're not comfortable in your personal musical success, why the fuck would you then give all your energy and resources to push someone else? Um, especially as an artist, I can imagine... You probably have an ego thing that says you're better than the other person. So why the fuck would you sign to someone else who then probably thinks you're the plan B of his plan A? Because if you're not short-sighted, oftentimes if you sign someone whose ceiling is higher than yours, it elevates your ceiling, i.e. Uh, Fat Joe, big pun. Uh, there's another one that just escaped me really quickly. But that's why that's why you would Wayne do Drake. Wayne, Wayne, and, Wayne, Wayne and Drake. Uh, if Wayne's business was intact, that would have been able to ride a little longer. But I mean, if you if you highlight someone who is potentially better than you, it could help you. It could help you. It could. I'm just saying we don't see that too often. You're not gonna see it in hip hop. Hip hop is is dog eat dog. It's a cavalier sport. Kill or be killed. It's not one where we are just constantly looking to help each other. With the rappers, we're, rappers don't even have a union. <laughs> Like so half of these rappers don't have health insurance. Half of these Imagine niggas Joe have the unemployment case. rapper line. I'm just saying, <laughs> half of these, half of these, these their, their lives are not together and in order. Well, so well, I mean, well, well, <laughs> do you think that there's gonna be be one of these niggas on Khaled's next album? His album's coming out. You think Vado got three songs on there or three verses? It's a good last question. No, it ain't a good last question. Where's Vado? <laughs> I want to see Vado outside of Willowbrook Mall, where I see Vado. <laughs> I want to see Vado. I want people to fuck. Let me tell you something. And listen, a lot of things I say, y'all can tell I'm old and bitter. It's fine. I don't care about y'all. <laughs> when I signed my deal with Def Jam in whatever year that was, right? And Kevin and Leo like was there. Back in, I don't like, give a fuck. What <laughs> that's what I'm no, I'm just saying. Last point. I'll throw a third. When I was signed to Def Jam and Kevin and Louds and Leo Cohn were there, and they, they made me believe that, you know, they were so invested. And after my first album, they jetted and left me there stuck with fucking L.A. Reid. Damn. So, so my, I'm saying that to say when you sign somewhere, like, you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. You're yeah. trusting. You're trusting people. Ace Hood trusted Khaled. So when he's saying, yo, I'm hurt, he's hurt. So when, when artists are screaming out, and that's why I don't like, like when, when people say artists are bitter and angry, and I'm bitter and angry, but <laughs> when people say that, it's dismissive to the vulnerability of an artist, number one. Number two, it's dismissive of all that an artist has to endure in the music industry. 
I'll leave it there. We don't have enough time for me to expound. Uh, buy my book. I'm going to write a fucking book. Buy my book. You I'm should a, write a book, actually. I have some shit that's not written. Come to see my album. Promote Amazon. some shit that's not even written. I'm ahead of the time. got to put it out <laughs> into the universe. That's how you get started. So this new Khaled single, I'm the One, is coming out. I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. We'll talk about it, obviously, when it drops.